How's it going guys? My name is James and today I'm going to teach you how to catch more fish at Bedok Jetty. You want to save your time right and usually you fish usually one or twice a week and you want to make it as productive as much as you want. I found a trick from my senpais. It's called the Carolina rig and let me show you how it's done. So firstly you will need a fluorocarbon thread. I'm using the J-Thread FC. You can go for any fluorocarbon that you like but make sure it's around 4 to 8 pounds line because you want it as thin as possible. This fish is difficult to entice but you can always lure them with a thin line next what you need is a sinker so I'm using a tungsten bullet weight sinker you will need an RG hook so this RG hook is about a size 4 and size 4 is pretty much the best hook to catch all these uh, macros you'll need a cutter for this yeah so that's pretty much it and of course you need your rubbers I have an assorted number of rubbers but uh, choosing the right rubber is another topic for next time right so on to the Carolina rig it's highly enticing for a lot of RG macros because the the lines are really thin and you can adjust the way you move and the speed of the way you move your lures in the water and because of that right they tend to get enticed by these fast moving tiny fishes that they see right and they'll just bite onto them instinctively or maybe you really lure them uh, depends I'm not a fish so don't ask me I don't know so what you need about is about a one meter line the line ar around this much and then I'll put my sinker in, in it and I'm gonna be using a 7 grams tungsten bullet weight loop it over over three times so that it's stationary you don't want it to move and you also want to leave a gap because you want to tie a perfection loop at the end so that you can attach it to the clip okay that is your perfection loop now so that it's anti-slip it looks perfect look at that so in the last step right you're gonna be putting is the rubber at the end let's cut this extra tail end right here so it looks cunning does it look too obvious to the fish so I've done the snail hook just need to cut off some of the extra tail ends and you're ready to go and play so not too bad this is a little bit shorter than how I normally make so play around with the length uh, guys um, uh, I find that the longer it is the better I'll be using this uh, major craft para worm okay something like that so I think this is like um, good enough so it's quite tricky to put it in at all the way at the center but uh, yeah, it takes some practice but after that I think it should be okay so head over to Bedok Jetty Okay guys, so uh, as you can see, there's a uh, bubbling or boiling involved, right? Immediately, this one you throw at the area and play top water. Normally, frenzies like this, they'll take top water. And that's why you see a bubbling effect. And there we go. I was playing on low drag. La. I was hoping for a bigger fish, but got really small ones. But it's okay, you know. Have fun and chill out. Okay guys, so how you want to play this, right? You cast out. You have to let it sink towards either the bottom column or the mid column. So you have to be patient when it drops down. The current is not very strong. So I'm taking my time to let it sink all the way down. It's about 7 grams of, 7 or 8 grams of uh, weight. So it won't sink as fast as you think. Let's keep casting. Be wary of the wind direction and the current direction. You don't want to snag on other people's line. So normally when I cast up real far, right, I want it to sink all the way to the bottom and it takes really long for me to do that. And I make occasional twitches, movements, fast twitches. Hopefully we catch something. Uh. Not all the time it's very far away. Sometimes the fish is uh, right in front of you because the reef and a lot of uh, bait fish are staying around that area. Uh, like this guy, this is a queenie, good size one. He was waiting for an ambush and he was near the structure right below us. Okay, guys, I actually cut it. La. Then uh, let's try the same one. Let's get the best arrow eye for this rubber. Okay, so I, I, I cut it and then let's try to use it with my RG hook. Okay, let's give this one a try. Okay guys, so this one cannot make it really. It broke off another part just now. So I think we're gonna decommission this. So this rubber, two, two fish only. I recommend the Supers lah. Supers uh, RG, this one. So I can use for two days here. 
and it lasts it yielded me so many fish you can buy this from one fishing tackle it's Rangoon yeah all right so let's move on to a different rubber I'm gonna try this jack all micro flick uh, this is a 2.5 inch let's give it a try it has some UV shimmer don't know it'll be good or not but let's give it a try this rubber wow very fast boy Okay, nevertheless, let's just give it a try. rubber he swallowed the whole thing and they are just usually hanging around the structures here the three are just drawn in front that side and you let it sink all the way to the bottom then do a few twitches and they'll bite <laughs> okay guys that one uh cannot take out the hook uh, and that one will die in the wild i have given it to the uncle and auntie i put a new hook and gonna be using the same one once again the pelagic has stopped coming in it's about the highest tide in about 15 minutes so i expect them to be more active in the next two hours all right catch some more Okay guys, I built a new rig uh, because my fluorocarbon leader is really short now it's longer, about 1 meter so now the beauty of it is I can just clip on inside and I can play again so really quick, I don't have to tie your FG leader so you got plenty of options and flexibility around to play with this kind. Your main clip to your uh, fluorocarbon or your I mean your main leader I mean, and you have a clip right here and then your rig. So yeah, you can go in the water again and save some time. Right? Let's play some more. Okay, so for this part of the video, right? I actually opened my bill to let the sinker drop faster down the bottom because if you op if you close your bill right it has to cut water and that way it's actually sinking much slower so it's best to open up the bill let it cut all the way down the water uh, with the sinker down to reach the bottom faster so if you think the fish aren't in the mid column uh, do search around the bottom section with your uh, Carolina rig abused alright ok let's give this one a try slightly shorter expect more bites from this
Wow, big saga man Oh, some bigger Nice So big for this for, for this season I will take ah, boss Okay, thanks. Like besar, big and some. What the f and solo the entire uh, thing? Okay guys, the bites are lowering, so let's try a smaller profile Haji Salah Salah Lai Jam <laughs> Emperor, Emperor. What the heck? So big, ah? No bad, how big, ah? Yeah, super small this one. Super cute there. Eh. Hey, this one is not not saga eh. Saga lah. Ah really ah. It's like different eh. See the sun super long, extra long. So now I'm done fishing. It's about 2:30. Fish about four hours for a decent productive four hours. And the beauty about this is you can just keep this roll it up nicely and then put it in a plastic bag then you can keep it for the next session maybe you're hoping to change but do wash it with a fresh water you can keep your fishing equipment also nicely and then clean up after your mess these extra rubbers do throw them away because they might get blown by the wind right then go inside the water and it will pollute the 
brief that's about it for the video guys thank you guys for watching do subscribe for more and catch you guys on the next one bye